Hi, this is Lisa Monson, National Leader of the Avon Team Money Makers and Independent Sales Rep. And today I am here to share with you first order placing instructions. So congratulations, new rep. I'm sure you're very excited to get started. And we want to make sure that you are getting your order in uh, successfully and properly. And so this tutorial is there for you, whether you're placing it late at night or super early in the morning, we want to make sure you have that support. So let's get started. Now, one of the first things you want to make sure you're at is youravon.com, which is your rep website for placing orders, handling all of your business, being able to update your e-store and whatnot. A lot of reps get confused and they want to go to their actual e-store. You want to be at youravon.com. Once you're here, you want to make sure that you have already set up your account. So if you've not yet done that, you're going to want to click this button here and make sure that you've put in district number, account number, and the last four of your social and get yourself set up first. Once that's done, you're going to be able to log in here. So every time you log in, you're going to use your rep account number and whatever password you've created. Hit login. And the first tab that we're going to go to is going to be the My Orders tab to do this simple instructions on how to place your order. So we're going to go right here to the very first tab, My Orders. Now you'll also notice that the current campaign is always going to be shown on your page as far as which order we are in, as well as right here you're going to see the campaign deadline for you. Now some of you may be on flex ordering, which means that you have a, a, a larger scale window to place those orders. Um, but those of us that are still on what we call an RPS schedule, and there's a video on my channel about RPS schedule, so if you need to see that, you can check that out later. Um, but we're pretty sure that most of Avon is all going to be going to flex ordering, uh, but depending on when you're watching this, it may be now, and you may have an actual uh, scheduled date. So you want to make sure that you've spoken to your sponsor or that you understand your dates and that you're placing on your schedule so that you're not getting any late fees or um, interrupting uh, when the orders are going in and when you're receiving them and you get kind of in a rhythm. I also recommend that if you do go to flex ordering that you still keep yourself on a rhythm. Uh, pick your day if you're on flex ordering and stick to it so that things stay smooth sailing in your business. So um, make sure you check that first and then my orders tab and once that is opened up here you want to make sure that if you have not been adding your customers some people have told me um, that they want to just put everything under their name maybe they've sold before way in the past and that's how they did it you do want to make sure that you are putting everybody under their own name including your own ticket reason being is when you go later to invoice your customers in the web office if everything is under your name, you're going to have an issue with being able to do replacements, credits, um, being able to search history for that customer. So please do make sure you're putting it under the proper names and also creating your own ticket helps you know what you've spent on your business tools, demos, personal products, and, and whatnot. So be sure to do that. So add new customer and this is what it will look like. So you'll add their name, last name. If you have their email right away, absolutely try to get that and put it in phone number, address, and so on and so forth. Um, you can add more fields later, or let's say you just have a name and phone number right now. Make sure at least you put that in for now. You can always come back into the web office area later and update your address book and, and fix what you need to fix. But to be able to enter the order, make sure you at least have their name and phone number. Then you'll hit add new customer. Okay. Now you'll notice just for demonstration purposes, once that customer name is in there, all your customers are going to be able to type, for example, if I start to type M-A-R-Y, Mary, every Mary that I have is going to pop up, okay? If I am going to just do my own ticket, your name is always going to be the very first name um, shown. Always create the order in the campaign in which you're in. So even if you have orders from somebody from, let's say, a campaign 20 book, you still want to create it in the order in which you're in. So we're in campaign 21 here in this example. I'm going to use my name just to make it easy and I'm going to create order. It's going to tell me that I have an order already. Do I want to add to it? I'm just going to create a new ticket and show you. Okay, so here it is. And it didn't do that, but we're, we're good. So um, all the ticket uh, alongside the ticket it says campaign 21 and that's how you know that you're creating in the proper campaign so this is the book that I'm using right now for this and you're gonna go along as if this was a customer and you're just gonna enter the six digit product numbers um, not including the dash so I'm just gonna put in anything here just to show you and I've got one of those and these are for example two for $38 
So let me go ahead and add the second. If I only order one, then that is going to charge me the full price. So two for 38, you do wanna make sure that you're um, entering the proper promotions, add items to order when you're finished, and those items will show up down below and you can see that it gave the promotional price of two for $38. On the left-hand side, if it's your ticket, you can do all kinds of things from ordering your samples, and I want to show the order samples section because a lot of times when people click order samples, they think all we have is just foundation. You want to drop this down here so you can go to the other categories. So you have fragrance, lipstick, nails, and skincare. Um, if you're choosing lipstick, you just click add to order, it's added. Add to order, it's added. To get back to your ticket, you can just go back um, by clicking the back button or uh, right here, it'll say view order. Okay, so I'm going to go to view order, I go back to my ticket. You can also shop the What's New catalog or even the brochures and flyers, which makes it very convenient uh, when you're in your ticket. Um, so shop What's New looks like this. The What's New book, for those of you that are brand new, is your demonstration book and it helps you see what's coming new to Avon so that you can prepare ahead and start demonstrating, wearing the products, using the products, and getting people excited about the products in advance and then taking early orders for them. Um, do note that when you place uh, an order, for example, we are looking at uh, a campaign uh, 23 demo book. You can go page to page with these. This works the same with the actual booklet as well. I'm gonna go back here. There's some samples on here of the bath oil. So for a pack of five, you can get for $2. So I can hit one and add that to my order um, and I can continue shopping. So this is interactive. You can click on pictures, you want these slippers, click on your size, one, add to order. Now, very important with the demos. If you're in the Kickstart program, brand new, watching this, or any other programs that may come in the future, you may have an award sales goal that you're trying to hit in order to get your uh, earnings level or to be able to hit a certain incentive. And if that is the case, I wanted to make sure you were aware that when you shop out of the demo brochure, um, and if I can blow this up, it's not going to show it here, but, um, and it's so tiny, but down here below, if this is able to be seen, um, you might have to get your, for me, I have to get my readers on. You can see that this, for example, says demo price 1874 and it says PRP 1749. When you see PRP, that stands for President's Recognition Program Members, people that have sold over a certain amount a year. It's a club you want to be a part of, President's Club. Um, you get an additional percentage off of those items. New reps, if you're in a specific pro programs, are already getting a specific set discount um, or earnings level on products as long as you're reaching certain sales levels. Um, talk to your upline sponsor more about that. Um, if this is ordered out of the demo book, you are going to get the demo award sales towards your total sales. And we're going to pull it up like this. The book price is 14. So if you've ordered this out of the brochure, you will get the full 14. If you order out of the, of the demo book, you get the demo award sales towards your um, goals that you're trying to earn. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, and so you can just go through the demo just like this. You can change the books over here to the other demo books, and you can also go page to page just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the item entry form, but I wanted to show you that little tip so that you would understand a little bit better about our demo books. And if it will go back. And so you can go throughout here and order your brochures, your samples, uh, shop the brochures that way. And also wanted to let you know that shop underwear is your bra section and undergarment section. So if somebody has ordered a Bally bra from you or a Playtex bra, do note that those items will be coming to you separately in an envelope in your mailbox versus your actual order. So do not panic. If you're looking for it in your order and you're like, it's not here, it is coming separately. If you look here at the drop down, make sure you're choosing the proper category. So we've got Bally, Hanes, Just My Size. These are gonna come straight from those warehouses. So don't be alarmed again if it's not showing up in your order. But first choose the proper um, 
product uh, name. So if it's Bally, and then find the proper product, and then click Add to Order. Um, you're not going to see these product numbers in the brochure because there's way too many, uh, and they can't fill the pages with it. So you do have to manually find out from your customer what style, what size, what color that they want, uh, and then come home and search for it this way under their name. Okay. And once you have all of your products, um, and like I said, we're using an example here, and um, I haven't put all my customers in, so we're not going to be able to get through all the steps. But once you have um, all of your products and samples in there, you continue to add them. They will always save in the bottom. If we go back to the My Orders tab, once you have all those orders in the cart, you're going to see that it looks like this on the My Orders page down below. So I've got me. My mom and another customer in here right now and then of course direct delivery orders can be seen there so when you're ready to send them you're going to continue to build the cart up until you're ready to hit the submit button okay so the goal is to get as many orders as you can before your deadline or before your day of order um, and then just continue to fill them each day that you get a new order come in here add the customer if they're brand new if they're not pull up their name, create it in the proper campaign, create order, and then begin to um, fill the cart, okay? Once the cart is full, you're gonna hit view all, and you're gonna get to the step one of your order cart. When you're ready, you will hit select here, so you're gonna make sure you've checked marked all of them, and it's gonna move to the add extra section, so you hit continue. And it's saying I have two customers served because, like I said, we're not. I'm not at the end of my order. We're just mock, mock doing this for you right now. Add extra. So this is where you're going to add your brochures. So they're in packs of ten. So let's say you want five of these for fifty of those, and you want to do um, also a box here, or you want to order some extra. Maybe you are running low on your current brochures. There, you can do all of that. They always give you special offers and extra here in this section. Continue to order summary. I'm going to hit skip. Because I don't want to submit this because it's like mock. We're doing a mock order here. So then it's going to take me to step three. So you're going to watch these at the top here. Um, and we will be stopping here because, like I said, I'm not submitting mine right now. But this area is very interesting. So when the order summary, everything in green is stating that it is available and in stock, and your yellow items are down here going fast. Red is gonna be temporarily out of stock, and the gray is gonna be sold out. So this gives you kind of a, a roundabout uh, idea of what you will be getting and what you might not be getting. Also, if it's got a ticket, that means it's a promotion. You also have tabs here. This is fairly new with Avon, where if you want to have less tabs shown or more tabs shown, um, you can do that. So you want to adjust it this way. So this is all customizable to you to make it easier for you to see. Um, the default display um, looks like this, and then I guess I've left it kind of the same on mine. And then when you're sure, you're going to see down here estimated orders, um, estimated taxes, going to give you estimated earnings, and you will then hit the submit button. Okay. So I'm going to back out of all this, but make sure you're following those steps here. Uh, when your order is finished and complete, you do want to be checking the My Account tab to make sure your order has billed out and that you don't have a balance to pay. The My Account area is where you make your payments to Avon, and you'll want to make sure that you are checking that to make sure that you are in the clear and that your order has shipped. Um, not all the time can the upline uh, sponsor be able to see um, right away it's better for the representative to be on it uh, on your own account to make sure your order has billed shipped and is on the way so be sure to uh, check the pay Avon area and make sure that you check under the invoices tab over here to make sure you have an invoice once that's done you will be able to uh, go to the web office tab which is another video to invoice your customers so that's it it's as simple as that. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and oh, don't forget, hit that bell button on the channel so that you get notified when new videos pop from my channel. I thank you so much for watching and uh, love hearing from you. Uh, if you're not yet a part of Avon and looking for a sponsor and an upline uh, and somebody referred you to this video, be sure to go back to them. But if not, if you've just stumbled upon this and are looking for a great team to join, we'd love to have you. You can click the link down below and get started. Even
even in the description bar. Have a great day and congratulations on your first order. Bye.